to the tweet. Waste Diversion has a lot of clients calling us up and asking how they will know if a ballast is a PCB ballast or a non-PCB ballast. Now, just quickly, PCBs are polychlorinated biphenyls. It's a highly toxic, toxic substance that was used in the 70s to cool off electronics. The first rule of thumb is that all non-PCB ballasts will say no PCBs right on them. So if it doesn't have this tag somewhere on the ballast saying no PCBs, then one must insist that it's a PCB ballast and treat it as such. Over here, we have a PCB ballast. Now, the most telling characteristic of a PCB ballast is the yellow label. Manufacturers of ballasts do not use yellow labels in manufacturing ballasts anymore because of the PCBs. The second thing is, PCBs tend to leak out this black goop. It gets on the wires, it gets on the fixture base, and gets on your hands and around the old ballast. The final thing about PCB ballasts is that a talented lighting technician or electrician who's handled them a lot will know what they smell like. They have a very distinct smell.